Ciao ragazzi! So today we're gonna show you what to eat in a winter time. Winter, when it's cold and all I want to do is eat cozy things and eat more than I should eat. Yeah, so let's see this seven days how it's gonna be. So what do you prepare, Amore? Well, I'm making a vegetarian butternut squash roasty toasty thing. The recipe calls for Italian sausage. Yes. But you hate Italian sausage in the US, so yes. I'm making it without the sausage. Okay, nice. In the meantime, can my amore prepare my snacking? He's always snacking. So, what I snacking? Usually cheese and um, taralli. Taralli. So these are with black pepper. Look at this nice taralli. In Italy, we always eat cheese before and after. Hey, you guys, how you are? A, a person can eat cheese before the, the dish or after? Eccoci qua, amore. Ah. Cos'è questa bellezza? This is a butternut squash filled with spinach, apples, herbs, onions, and a little parmigiano on the top. And cranberries. The cranberries. It's cold upside, right? It's very cold and it's raining. And I had to go out and harvest the rosemary in the rain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm the only judge here. You don't know nothing about food. This looks amazing. Oh, you're so mean and so sweet at the same time. Yeah. It's you good? Na you nailed it. Yes. For everybody who watches our videos and thinks that Alessio is the only one who can cook in this marriage, you're wrong. Okay, guys. So this is what happens when you just eat good vegetables. Jesse, look at this two nice butter thing. Gonna make... We're gonna cancel those vegetables. <laughs> and we're gonna make cookies. So... Because we're desperate. Because in well, winter time, you cannot eat vegetables. I'm sorry, but when it's holiday season, I just want to bake every single day. Who can resist a cookie fresh out of the oven? So this is what happens when you eat vegetables. So don't eat vegetables. Don't eat squash. <laughs> squash. <laughs> With nothing else. <laughs> nothing else. Micha, it's time to wake up. Huh? No? Micha. Then you're gonna stay awake all night. Yes. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. I need to make you coffee. Don't worry, you're beautiful. Not really. Are you awake? Physically, yes, I'm awake. Mentally, no. <laughs> okay. What are you making, Amore? Well, we are not Italians if we don't eat pasta even in the winter, right? Exactly. And we just eat spaghetti al pomodoro col soffritto, not just tomato. But I'm gonna use tuna for me and you are Ugh. This is one of the most basic meals that we make and you can never go wrong with it. Well, 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 well. Who eat already a Kinder Maxi before dinner? Yes, make me incriminated when you're the one that gave it to me and what I- And I'm this poor apple by herself with this bananas, they're gonna why rock. You, why don't you show them what you bought? What is this? Hey, they don't need to know everything, okay? <laughs> this is our panettone budino. Alessio has been feeling very homesick, so I decided... <laughs> Your face. Die. I decided to make him something <laughs> that would remind him of home. Die. Yeah, keep doing that. that say the, the little thing. What's it called, Amore? Your favorite Amore, soup? die. Yes. French onion? Okay. Hey guys, so I need to justify the fact that I keep snacking 
before my amore starts saying, oh, you always eat. So what about if I do an aperitivo at 4.37? So if I do aperitivo, technically I can snack, right? Right, give me some. No. What the hell is that? <laughs> this French onion soup, amore. So I'm in pyjama. Ch the soup. Forever. Amore, it's 620. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, no, it's taste onion. Uh oh, see you tomorrow for uh, another delicious stuff, right? Right. What did you prepare today, Chef Amore? Chicken broth. Homemade chicken broth yeah. and soup. And soup, soup, chicken broth, yeah. This is what it looks like when the Alessio soup. took out the chicken. So first of all, you put water, you make boil, you put salt, you put your chicken, you make there, leave it for an hour, then you put your vegetables, another hour, and then it's over. I do like this, first of all, so the vegetables, they're not gonna broke, uh, yeah, they overcook. They overcook it, they don't broke. A lot of people do just an hour. I do two hours because I'm Italian. And Italians know what they do. Here we are, Alessio's homemade chicken soup. 100% homemade, everything about it homemade. It's one of the most comforting things to eat in the winter when it's cold. Oh, wow, with all the broth, we can do a lot of things later on. Yes, you save all the broth. You can start making your risotti, you can start making your tortellini. Yeah, so you do this and then you have a lot of stuff to do with one shot. We not sure yet, the star of the videos. Esatto. Micha. Ciao, amore. Ciao. So, ragazzi, do you see this? It's the broth from earlier. That is the fat. Ew, amore. So, if you want to remove the fat, when you put in the frigo, this is the good time to remove it, you know? It's like this. Oh Talk. my gosh, it's like a jello. Yeah. More stay. I don't it know if I want to watch this. People need to know. <laughs> I don't need to know. <laughs> so, only if you want to remove, but you know, they don't have too much calories, the broth. So, Jessie love it. She's so delicate in, in stuff. Right, Amore? Yeah, I didn't grow up in the Italian mountains, Amore. <laughs> now we make tortellini al brodo. Tortellini, quat, uh, cinque formaggi, from, from who? Rana. I feel that tortellini need to be light. It is a light dish, right, Amore? Mm -hmm. So if you start put inside stuff really heavy. Too much crazy ingredients. It's not anymore. <gasps> Porca di quella. Oh my goodness. Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> nice bored. catch. Are you okay though? Yeah, of course I'm okay. okay. I'm born okay. They look like turkeys, right? Ah, play some more today. Like always, right? Good like always. Good like always. Amazing like always. Guys, you're gonna be proud of me. Today I know it's snacks. Uh -oh. So in this video, we're gonna show you kid how we eat in Italy. So it is with broth or with the panna, da cucina. You see, it is the tortellino. Okay, we're gonna show in this video how we eat tortellini with panna, how we make it. Oh, we're gonna have tortellini with panna too. Yeah. Good morning, guys. It is 8.50. And then it's time to cook. Um, I need to do the ragu for make the risotto day today. Just is sleeping, obviously. And uh, yeah, let's go cook. I prepare my pot. 
Now I cut my onions, my vegetables, and make the ragu three hours for make it. Try to eat for 12. How you feel to be in the, your grandmother's house, Amore? It smells like it. it smells yeah. delicious in here. You were sleeping, people is working. I actually woke up to the smell of cooking onions this morning. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. Oh, amore. Wow. So we do risotto. So you toast your rice. Look how much rice. And then because you are a vacuum cleaner, I need to be a little bit more. <laughs> I love your commentary. It's so kind. My amore is a vacuum cleaner when I'm cooking. She when you make ragu, yes. So you toast it. Then splash the wine. Any kind of wine? White. Any kind of white? M much better is the wine ever, and then much better it is. Then you start and you make the alcohol go away. When the alcohol evaporate, let's put some ragu. Dai ragazzi, give a like for this delicious meal. Then, this is our um, broth. broth. And Keeping the broth going. Keep the broth going and you keep put the broth. Okay. So it is two areas here. It is who put all the broth and they go away in the couch and then who is like me. Okay, they stay here and they keep adding because they know that the rice can stick at one point. Put your timing for the rice. 16 minutes, then we're gonna add some uh, sauce more for make it nice. Until the amalgatura. So now this is my job. Stay here, start the rice, and keep adding broth. You see this? This is butter. And this is how you amantecare the risotto. You put your butter, and you put your parmigiano reggiano. And the risotto. It's gonna come like a bijou. Really good. So at this point, you just stir and then it's ready? It's ready. It doesn't have to cook anymore? No. It's perfect. You just make the cream. Okay. It come like a cream with the parmigiano and the butter. And then it's cream ready to my amore to eat. Give me a beautiful amore arrabbiato. Even when you are cranky. Uh, cranky or mad? Mm. I always have to get a carrot because it's my favorite part. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are there. Good job, Amore. I, I know. It's so good. It's the coziest. Like, if you want comfort food, this is comfort. Food. For winter, it's amazing. Hmm. Buon appetito! Buon appetito! To you, ragazzi. What you doing? Amore? Amore. Look away. Turn off the camera. No. What you doing? I'm eating a scarpetta and ragu, okay? With carrots. Vacuum cleaner. Okay. So it's Saturday night, right? Saturday, Saturday. night with Micha. Guardate qua. This is beautiful Look face. How cute she is. Yes. There's nowhere else I'd rather be on Saturday night. Yes. So I cook in frozen pizza after I cook all day. So usually Saturday night we eating pizza with our Christmas tree. Look how happy she is. Look how smiley. Eccoci qua. Ooh, it looks like a flower. It is. Thank you, Mare. Glass. So romantic. Coca-Cola. How could be much better Saturday night? Saturday night. With frozen pizza and Coca-Cola. It's our tradition. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I need to see this dance. And okay, came like before. Do it again? I don't know. Okay, now you're trying too hard. Yeah, it's not working. Too hard. <laughs>
<laughs> no, never mind. Olio de oliva. Un timio. Yeah. E buon appetito. Buon appetito. Cin cin. Actually, I want to ask to American people why they prefer Coca Cola or Pepsi. It's a big. I'm pretty sure everyone's going to say Coca Cola. Pepsi. Huh? No, Pepsi. Because, yeah, you're right. Pepsi is really good. That's why we drink Coca Cola. Coca Cola. I like Pepsi and Coca Cola in the same level. This video is sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is Micha in the morning. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ci vediamo stasera per mangiare, ok? Ok. Again, the risotto. Delicious. Stasera we eat pasta with ragu. Nel mentre, in the meantime, we eating cheese and bread and olives with garlic. And I'm trying to make the... The bread. The bread. But it's so cold, I don't know if it's gonna... No, it's really cold, so we don't know if it's gonna happen. For us, pasta ragu, it is like eat a burger or eat an um, amazing meal, right? Yes. Enjoy it. Pasta makes you feel happy. Yes. That's why we eat so much pasta. Because we want to be happy. happy. Especially in Christmas time. Let's get a close up of this beautiful pasta. Come sempre. 8.17, Sunday. What? We have very serious allegations to talk about here. Alessio, the person that you know and love, is a total fake because he stole my Kinder Maxi and he's hidden it somewhere in the house <laughs> to try and say that I lost it or I ate it, but I didn't do either of those things. He took it and he hid it from me to make me crazy. Okay, and now I tell my version. I'm really good conservative. I keep it in a, my uh, spot. Mine right here. No, this is mine, Amore. You are eat yours and now, not. And like, now you try to like eat mine. This is something you would do. You no. try and steal it and no. hide it. You. And then watch me run around the house looking for it. No. Micha, what is the Kinder Maxi? Oh it is. God. You found it? I found it. Guys, it's behind the washing machine. You. From here, somebody put here, and when this was working, boom, 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 fell down. Almost, huh? It's upside down and they all just fell out. Let's see how an intelligent person fixed this problem. Was it all worth it? Yeah. He's back and he's ready to cook some more. Exactly, amore. Today, tortellini with panna. Where did we get that panna? New York, Bronx. Arthur Avenue? Arthur Avenue. If you haven't watched our Arthur Avenue video, you have to watch you it. You should go watch it. Watch it. And while you're at it, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Oh, where's the bell? Somebody sleepy. Micha. Can you say hi? Tortellini are ready. So what I, I do, I, I take a scoop, the broth stuff. I put my panna, the cucina, okay? And why I amore, I take some broth. So it doesn't dry out? Yes, amore. Just a little bit. I'm proud of you because you learn. <laughs> because just a little bit, then you put more panna. You are always the judge, so I'm okay. Really good. Yes. This is not fettuccine alfredo. Before you go in the comments section and say, Oh, oh like this fettuccine is fettuccine alfredo! <laughs> Delicious, come sempre. Yeah, the, the, the camera no make justice about how cream are. Oh, yeah. 
That's great. Sometimes you can add gorgonzola, you know, cheese, mm -hmm. prosciutto, Italian prosciutto. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Cosa mangiamo tonight, amore? Chili. Chili alla Jesse Alessio. How many scoops do you want, Amore? Two. What is that movement? It's, it's centrifugal force, Amore. If you get it swinging, nothing can come out because it's moving fast enough. Everybody knows that's physics. Okay, so chili is my mom's recipe. Mm -hmm. And it has green pepper. Hey, Amore, chill. Chill. Okay, then green peppers, then tell the Onions, story. The chili. Black beans, kidney beans, ground beef, garlic, tomatoes, tomato sauce. But what really makes it is a teeny bit of cheese on the top. So we eat Italian and Southern things together, guys. Yeah. Oh. Wow, this is the best ever that we've ever made. It's really this good. This is one of our best ever. Ever. It's nice chocolate. Yes, this is what we're doing in winter time. We're gonna be fat, sassy, and smoothie. Yeah, right because, on. because, look what we have. <laughs> I've never yeah. seen that move before. What do we have going on right now? We have a cozy house with a beautiful Christmas tree and a fire and a movie. So what do we need? We hot definitely chocolate. need hot chocolate. Ooh, so creamy. I'm, I'm Mr. Chocolate at Christmas chocolate. Ah, Christmas. They need white cream, something like that. Cosa si mangia oggi a pranzo? Chili! Leftovers the chili. It's cold today, so I'm happy that we have this leftover chili. What do we have here, amore? Pasta e fagioli. Hey, ragazzi, you see? I go walk today and no snacks. Ooh. Pasta e fagioli, amore. Yes. Again, another cozy, warm dish for winter. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Memor chef. Wow. Era buonissimo, vero, amore? Sì, era buonissimo. Mamma mia, due piatti. Vediamo domani. Vediamo domani. Per mangiare. O stasera. Oh. a surprise. <laughs> This still alive! Is it time? No, Christmas. Aww. Okay, more for lunch today, normal pasta. Look at this beautiful pile of spaghetti. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Did you already put oil for me? No. Always oil, guys. Always oil. Yeah. You did another good job. Yeah, we're eating turkey burgers. Alessio's potatoes were in the first video and they are the best. Show how to eat the garlic. You find where it first open in the roasting. You peel it off. Ready? Mm. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, Micha. Really good, Namara, thank you. Yeah. And this is what we eat in a week. In the winter. In the winter, so this kind of stuff. Stay warm out there, ragazzi. <laughs> yes. Bonus. Bonus for you guys. We're gonna open. Wow. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. So this is Bali Budino Pandoro. Go, go, go. Ooh. Hey, ragazzi, so we eat our first piece. In her opinion, it tastes a little bit dry. I need to tell you something. How many times in America, sometimes when something is not popular, the product is more disappointed, but in Italy it's not? Yes, it's a big difference because here... People don't buy it. Yeah. So they maybe they store it and they use it for the, the year after. Right, before the expiration date. So it's still technically good, but it's not super fresh. Exactly. 
in Italy, you have more fashion because people buy it more. Everybody start buying Bali. Everybody start Bali. <laughs> so that we can, so get, we can get fresh, fresh. Bali here in the United States. Did you think we were gonna film uh, what we eat in the winter video without talking about Christmas? Christmas, and look at this, what me and my amor, we did. Look at this lasagna. We did the lasagna, we did everything from this morning early. From we... nine o'clock until 12.30. Yes. And now we have to cook it. Now we need to cook it. Like this, Micha <laughs> And now, into the oven. All right, I got Lasagna for Christmas. I also made a loaf of sourdough, finally, the starter cut up. So we have sourdough bread to go with our lasagna. And a new cookie that I tried, the chocolate crinkle cookies to take to my mom's house later. Bechamel, mozzarella, parmigiano, my mother's ragu. Pasta. Pasta. Christmas. It's Christmas. See? Oh, oh that's cute. my goodness. Not my best for the crumb, but you know, it'll do the job. It do the job. It's wonderful. Eccoci qua. Usually you're supposed to let it sit. Yeah. We don't have time for that. We don't have time. We can't wait. We have to dig in immediately. Yeah. Wow, more. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Merry Christmas, ragazzi! There's nothing better than fresh lasagna. Yes. So, ragazzi, this is the two bonus. I don't know if it's gonna be third bonus or fourth bonus. Could be if you see this more minutes. Yes, okay. But if not, ciao, ciao. and grazie. We buon Natale buon e inverno. buon inverno. Buon inverno. Look how beautiful is the soup, ragazzi. Look, it's so cozy. Potatoes, brown rice, eh, bra brown rice, spinach, carrots. It's just cozy for the winter. What is this beautiful pasta, amore? This is uh, orecchiette con crema di spinaci. Looks incredible. When you are an incredible person, he can make only incredible dishes, you know? I love our festive bowls. They are amazing, yes. Buon appetito. Buon appetito, amore. Santa roba. <laughs>